pollution is one of the leading causes of death in India. According to reports by Greenpeace India, every year nearly 3.3 million people lose their life due to air pollution in the country. It also causes the loss of 3% of GDP and one of the main sources of this pollution is diesel generators. It were these very startling facts and statics that made a group of young engineers from IIT Delhi come together and create Chakra Innovation, a startup that fights pollution head on. So me, Arpit Dupar and Kushal Shasta, we three uh, met in IIT. There were two things that made us like each other in one go and that was our passion for working for the environment and uh, an inclination to do something of our own rather than taking up a job. As is the norm in college, uh, we used to be very high on energy and very low on cash. So we preferred roadside chole bhature instead of say what, MacPuff. During one such trip, Arpit Dupar, uh, our CTO, he headed out to drink sugarcane juice from a roadside vendor. Now, this vendor had used a diesel generator, a small diesel engine, to power up his uh, sugarcane crusher. And that had turned the wall entirely black. And that is when the idea stuck to Dupar as he held on to that glass of sugarcane uh, juice that why can't we do this intentionally? And what followed was one year of research into how to build a device that won't prove detrimental to a genset and still capture its emission. And today, here we are. Taking the gauntlet, Prateek and his friends developed Chakra Shield, a device that transforms suit into ink and paint. This suit is nothing but unburned carbon particles. It's a very fine particle which ranges in micrometers. So it emits a solid particle out of its exhaust. So as the exhaust of uh, the diesel uh, engine passes through our device, uh, what our device does is it cools it down, so it has a heat exchanger, and then when it passes through our device, when the smoke, the suit passes through our device, uh, we have a mechanism through which a solution interacts with that suit without hampering the flow of the suit. And the solution has been made such that it captures all the suit, it, dis it physically disperses the suit inside it. it. It traps it in its original form. So we collect that, the collected uh, particulate matter from our device, we take it at our facility, and there we run it through the processes and convert it into ink. Now in numbers, Chakra won't sound like a big team, but it's definitely on its way to make a big difference. Yeah, so we have uh, divided our company into three main verticals. There's uh, business development, which is headed by Kushak Shwasa. Then there's uh, our technical uh, vertical, which is headed by Arpit Dupar. And then there's the operation vertical, which is headed by me. In Delhi alone, over 14,000 mobile towers are run by diesel engines which emit a harmful byproduct known as soot. Stuff that nightmares are probably made out of. So the soot emitted by diesel generators is very fine. As I said, its size ranges in micrometers. Now this size is so small that when you inhale this uh, soot, it, it won't even be filtered by your lungs. It will go directly into your bloodstream. And what happens is, this is classified as class 1 carcinogen, it can cause cancer. So it is known to cause strokes, asthma and even trachea, bronchus and lung cancer. According to your vicinity that you are living beside a genset, it could, the diesel generator could be reducing 11 months of your life. The team estimates that their patented technology can reduce particulate matter emission from diesel generators by a whopping 90%. Till date, the device has captured over 180 kg of particulate matter and converted it into ink. So we are launch, launching our own brand of ink, which uh, is named as POINK, Pollution Ink, P-O-I-N-K. Uh, you can also term it as, you use POINK to make a point. And you can use that ink to print shirts, uh, print mugs, uh, whatever that you wish to do, and we'll do it for you. Now, like most other success stories, it's not always been an easy path for Team Chakra. Starting their startup without any capital to support their brilliant idea, all the members chipped in from their pockets to get things off the ground. One of the challenge was cash crunch, of course. So money wasn't that big of a problem. Our biggest challenge was finding the right customers for this device. And uh, everybody patted us on our back, and but nobody bought the device. Then we took the road of uh, regulations. Still, people had their own way to bypass that regulation. And after months of brainstorming, we found out that we first would have to identify 
the individuals and companies who are environmentally conscious. Since then, they have installed around 30 chakra shields in different sectors, including telecom towers and FMGC players. And now they intend to expand further. While Chakra's attempt of curbing pollution seems effective and innovative, there is still a lot more that needs to be done. After all, you can make the greatest pollution fighting contraption in the world, but convincing people to actually take pollution seriously is a different matter altogether. And perhaps that's where Chakra's biggest challenge lies.